I went Portsmouth away, but it weren't just Portsmouth away, it was a Portsmouth weekender. And one of my mates lives in an actual maze. He goes uni here, and I swear his accommodation is a maze. And then again, at my other mates, I think I designed the worst Jules logo ever on some piece of technology that I probably am not smart enough to use. Oh, and I did find myself in the opposition pub. Well, Alright, welcome yeah. back to Raiderbed. I'm joined by Philip. He's new to the Raiderbed. He does, probably doesn't want to be on this, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, that's Philip. There you go. Hi. But, um, yeah, we got Portsmouth away. It was my first away day on the channel last year. I'm hoping for a similar result, but I've seen the line up and we're playing Tucker, and I'm not sure that he's ready for the step up yet. But we'll see how it goes. I don't think Barry Fuller's fully fit, to be honest. And I was about to get run over by someone from their little car park, but luckily I just did. But, all in all, there's not much to say really. Portsmouth didn't want to cancel the game or postpone it because they've already, they're already quite far behind everyone else. And they're slowly picking up their season, so they're not going to want to postpone it. They're losing, I think they've lost two or three players in international duty. So it's a, uh, an advantage I guess we need to use. And then we've got Jakubia, Kanlan and Najoli up front. So we're playing three up front, so we, we are looking to score goals quickly. I'm not sure if our, about our defence. I think we're playing O'Connor, uh, Ogilvy, Tamar, Tucker. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but it'll be an interesting one. And yeah, we'll see you at the ground. And let's just get them three points today. Win that, yes! Well done, well done! Love that! Oh. Oh, hey. Shoot! Oh! Do it! Cross in! Yes! Oh! Out! Chances. Uh, one of them's been good in goal. So I think we could have had, I don't know about three shots on target, but it was they had quite good shots, very good saves from one of them. All our chances have been off target. We're not really controlling the game, they are controlling it. Our defence is looking strong. Kind of like last year, but last year we managed to get the two goals from a counter attack. This year we're not doing too well on the counter. We are getting with, like, unlucky with some of the decisions that you'll probably see down by my left. That uh, Alfie Jones. Foul or something really that kind of foul he was through, so that shouldn't have been a foul. But overall, like we need to pick it up, we need to be better. Forward if it we're playing out from the back, is not doing too we're not doing too well, like putting in passes that aren't working, crosses that aren't getting to our players, it's we've been a bit all over the place really. 
Right now, I'll take a draw, but if we can put up a good performance in the second half, who knows? So we'll see what happens. It's not been great so far. It's not been great. But we're holding on. Can we win that? Wow. Shoot! Shoot! Oh my days! How did we miss that on? Come on, Marshall. We're pin a good ball. We'll take a corner. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh. Right, it's Sunday, I'm trying to get the vlog out today, um, so I've just literally got back from Portsmouth right now basically, and uh, it's just easier to do my after match talk now, and obviously it finished nil-nil, um, we didn't have too many chances, uh, we had a couple of chances that were off target, um, there was one solo effort from Hanlan that looked really promising, he sort of ran right through their defence and then he then his shot was straight at the keeper unfortunately otherwise that would have been such a good goal and I got a rate to be fair I said that Tucker might not be ready so far I'd like jumping him into first team you know especially against opponents like Portsmouth but he did quite well to be fair him and Ogilvy did really well I think um I'd say that Marshall when he came on made an impact in the game but I think I think we only had like forty seven percent pass accuracy, which is shocking. It was obviously clear that we'd get the ball at the back and we'll try and hoof it off, hoof it up, because that's we went there really. We we parked the bus basically for ninety minutes. But a point at Fratton Park, I'm not complaining about. I would have liked to have seen us attack a bit more, but a point's a point. Looking at some of the Portsmouth fans, I went over to their Facebook page and Twitter page, and they didn't look, they didn't seem quite happy with their performance. Um, they said that Portsmouth were passing it round the back too much, which I could see to be fair. But if anyone was going to pick the win up, I reckon it would have been Portsmouth. So yeah, that's that's basically it. I don't know when the next game I'm going to is because I'm not sure if I'm going to the next home game, which is Peterborough. But if I am, then there'll be another match day experience for that. That's it, Bonham. Made really good saves in that game, to be fair. <laughs> Much improvement from the goal he let in against South End, but no, honestly, I think it was like seven, six minutes in, and he made a save and he made about three or four good saves in that game, so he kept us in it, and so did the whole defence, to be fair. So, well played. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's a draw, is a draw, points a point. We'll take it on the road. We got us for next Saturday when we play, uh, Peterborough, we just need to close down um, Tony because he's, I think, the top goal scorer in all competitions out of anyone in the EFL from the Premier League right down to League Two. Like He's the one who's scoring the goals so far out of the four divisions and we're going to have to try and get our, our defence. If our, our defence was on fire as they were against Portsmouth, then I reckon we can get a result against Peterborough because that's going to be a hard game. Because they're scoring goals and Tony scoring goals, so it's going to be difficult. But it is what it is, and we'll see what happens. Until then, up the jewels.